Hi! Welcome to Virtual CB1A. This is Mam Ma Rena and this is Week 2, Lecture 1 of Logic and Set Theory. Today, we will discuss operations on sets. For today's learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to learn how to perform operations on sets and represent sets using the Venn Euler diagram. Under operations on sets, we have four. First, we have the union of sets, followed by intersection. Next, we have the difference. And finally, we will study the complement of a set. Let's start with union. For union of sets, this is denoted by this symbol. So the union of sets A and B is a set whose elements are in A or B or in both. So in our descriptive method of representing sets or Using the set builder notation, we have A union B is equal to the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Let's look at this example. We have two sets, A and B. So under A, the elements are R, E, N, and A. And for B, we have R, O, S, and E. For the union of sets, we are going to combine all the elements that you can find in A and in B. So we have R, A, E, N, O, S. I arranged this alphabetically so it will be easier to check whether all the elements are already inside. So we have R on both sets. It will only appear once. Followed by E. So E is also on both sets so it will appear only once next for set a we have n it is only in set a we are we are going to copy it next we have uh, a a is only in set a next we have o and s for set b so, all the elements that you can find in set A and all the elements that you can find in set B will be included in the set of A union B. But, you have to remember, if an element appears on both sets, you are going to write it only once, okay? Now, let's go to intersection. For intersection of sets... A and B, this is denoted by this symbol, inverted naman siya, na U. Uh, these are sets whose elements are common to both sets. In symbol, A intersection B is equal to X such as X is an element of A and X is an element of B. If under union, our word is OR, here in intersection, our keyword is end. It should be on both elements uh, or on both sets. Uh -huh. Let's have here an example. Again, we have R-E-N-A for set A and R-O-S-E for set B. For the intersection, all we have to look for are the elements that are in A and in B. So there are only two elements. Those are R and E. So for the set of A intersection B, we have the elements R and E. Okay? Now let's go to difference. Uh, for difference of sets A and B, this is denoted by a minus sign. The sets whose elements are found in set A but not in set B. In symbol, this is A minus B is equal to the set of all X such that X is an element of A but not an element of B. 
Let's use the example that we used in the previous slides. We have set A is equal to RENA and set B is equal to ROSE. All the elements of A will remain in the set of A minus B, but not the elements of B. So let's look for the common elements of a and B because those elements will be discarded from our set. We have R, E, R, E. So since R and E is also in set B, we are going to remove it. Uh, here, I mistyped the symbol. This should be uh, na lang natin siya. A minus B is equal to the set of all the elements in A that are not in B. So we have N and A. Okay? Let's go to the last operation. We have the complement. For a complement of set A, this is denoted by the symbol A na parang may apostrophe sa taas. This is the set of elements found in the universal set but not in set A. Uh, in symbol... This is denoted by the set of all x such that x is an element of the universal set and x is not an element of A. Lagi tayo ng isang example. Uh, ang universal set mo daw is the set of letters L, I, O, N. Ala yun. <laughs> For the set of A, we have N and O. So, what is the complement of set A? So, the complement of set A is the, uh, the set of elements containing the elements that not in A but can be found in the universal set. So, tanggalin natin sa universal set si N at saka si O kasi nasa A sila. Ano na lang yung natira? Li. So, the complement of A is... Li, okay. The elements, uh, the set containing the elements Li. I hope that was clear because now we are going to move forward with the Venn Euler diagram. Let's study how to represent sets using this kind of diagram. Uh, a Venn Euler diagram is a pictorial representation of relationship and operations of sets. The universal set is usually represented by a rectangle while circles within the rectangle usually represent its subsets. The shaded region in the given diagrams illustrates the indicated sets relations or sets operations. Uh, kung natatandaan nyo pa, before, we discussed about joint sets and disjoint sets. If two sets are disjoint, they do not have any common elements. So, this is an example of a disjoint set. Uh, uh, this, this is an example of disjoint sets. If you will take notice, the two circles do not overlap. Why? Because they do not have any common elements. Uh, for example, lagay tayo dito, set A is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3 while set B is the set containing the letters A, B, and C do we have any common element? wala inside A we have 1, 2, 3 and then inside B we have A, B, C wala silang common element so uh, they do not overlap they do not share any elements now let's have Proper subsets. Set A is a proper subset of set B. So, si A daw ay nasa loob ni B. It is represented by this diagram. Lahat ng laman ni A can be found in B. Lagi tayo ng isang example. Uh, si A ay set ng numbers 1, 2, 3 pa rin. But now, si B, this is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If you're going to represent this using the Venn Euler diagram, the numbers 1, 2, 3 will be inside set A. While 4 and 5 
will be outside of set A. But still, it is inside set B. So, si set B, sakop niya si 1, 2, 3. And so, is 1, 4, uh, 4, 5. But for A, ang sakop lang niya si 1, 2, 3. And all of these numbers are in the universal set. Si universal set, meron pa yung mga elements dito. Pwede natin siyang lagyan. For example, the set of uh, numbers from 1 to 10 ang universal set then nandito si 6 7 8 9 10 ganyan lang siya if you still remember lecture 1 yata yun, or lecture 2 we discussed that universal sets can vary depending on the context of your problem. So, in this case, ang ibinigay ko na universal set natin is the set of counting numbers from 1 to 10. Ayan. Ganto lang pagre-represent ng Ben Euler diagram ng subsets. Let's go to the next one. We have union of sets A and B. For the union, sabi nga natin sa Ben Euler diagram, if we have shaded region, that means the elements are included. If you still remember from our previous example, set A is the set of elements R, E, and A. Pangalan ko. And then, uh, set B, pangalan ng ate ko, <laughs> we have R, O, S, E. For the union of A and B, this is the set of all elements containing the elements of A and B. So, nandito si uh, common elements R and E. Nandito siya sa gitna. Yung intersection nilang dalawa. Uh, this is an example of joint sets nga pala. Uh, when you have common elements, your circles will overlap and the portion for the intersection doon mo ilalagay yung value ng parehas na elements. Now, for A, ang natira na lang dito, si N at saka si A, tapos dito naman, si O at saka si S. So, ilagay natin siya. We have R, A, E, N, O, S. So, this is the set of the union of A and B. Now, let's move forward with the intersection. Using the same example, A pa rin is R, E, N, A. And B pa rin will be R, O, S, E. Ayan. Uh, for the set of intersection, ang kailangan lang naman natin tingnan dito, yung parehas. So, we have R and E. Natira dito si NA, dito si OS. For the set of intersection of A and B, we are going to look at the shaded region, yung nag-overlap na portion ng circle. We have R and E. Okay? Next, let's move forward with the difference of sets A and B. We have A minus B. Ay... Okay. Uh, the set of all the elements in A that are not in B. Again, we have A is equal to R, E, and A. While B contains the elements R, O, S, E. For the intersection, we have R, E. And then, N and A will be left here. O, S will be left in set B. For the difference, A minus B, lahat na nasa A, nawala sa B. We have the elements N, A. Okay? Hola. Yes, last na. We have complement of set A. Uh, for the complement, everything that you can find in the universal set, that is not in set A. For example, we have the universal set... Ano nga yung example natin kanina? Uh, the universal set is the set containing the words of the word lion. We have L, I, O, N, N. 
And then for set A, we have N and O. So for the complement, everything that you can find in the universal set, that is not in set A. So dito, nandito si NO. Tapos na dito naman si LI. Uh, for the complement of set A, we have the letters LI. Okay? I hope that was clear because now we are going to apply it to certain problems. Uh, for problem number one, we are given with this universal set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Set A is 0, 1, 2. Set B is 3, 4, 5. Set C is 0, 2, 4. Sometimes it will be also nice if you can draw Venn diagrams because it will be clearer for you to name the elements. It will be easier for you to distinguish one element from the other. Pag naka Venn diagram siya. Uh, try natin yung first few problems. Pag nandito na, hindi natin ito gagawin. Uh, kayo na lang, hindi ko na siya isa-set as an example. We have A union B muna. Uh, si A union B, all we have to do is to combine the elements 0, 1, 2, at saka si 3, 4, and 8. 5. So, for the set of A union B, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or simply, kung given naman siya as the universal set, pwede ay sulat mo na lang, this is the universal set or U. Sabi ko nga kanina, it will be helpful if you are going to represent it using a Venn diagram. Eh, paano mo ito i-represent? Tatlo na yung uh, sets mo. Pwede namang tatlo overlapping na circles, di ba? So, we have here A, we have here B, we have here C. Uh, what is common to set A, set B, and set C? Meron ba? Wala. Yung makikita mo lahat dun sa tatlo? Wala. Okay. What is common to A and B? Wala rin. So, bakante yung intersection nila. Bakante rin tong gitna. Yung intersection ng tatlo. What is common to A and C? We have 0 and 2. So, lalagyan natin dito 0 at saka 2. What is common to B and C? 4 is common. So, now, for set A, natira na lang dito ay C 1. Dito naman sa set B, natira ay si 3 at saka si 5. So, for the union of A and B, lahat na nasa A at saka B, 1, 0, 2, 4, 3, 5. O kaya, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Now, we have for the intersection of A and B. Ano yung common sa A at saka sa B? Meron ba kayo nakikita dito? Sa portion na to, lagyan natin siya ng shade. Ayan. Meron ba tong laman? Wala, ba? So, this is the null set. Now, let's have A union C. Pagsamahin mo daw yung laman ng A at saka laman ng C. So, si A meron siyang 0, 1, 2. Si C meron siyang 0, 2, 4. So, we have 0, 1, 2, 4. Okay? And finally, for the intersection of A and C, so, tingnan mo lang yung portion na nag-overlap on the two circles. This is circle A, this is circle C. Nag-overlap sila, nabuo si 0 at 2. So, we have here 0 and 2. So, I will leave these three as an activity. Please comment Comment your answers and I will read it. And then I will give you the correct answer on lecture number two for week, week two. Okay? Uh, meron pa palang isang problem. For the problem here, 
represent the given problem below as a Venn diagram. The, the problem is, a survey was conducted to learn about the preferred pets with 20 college students as respondents and it was found out that five, uh, 8 preferred cats, 10 preferred dogs, and 5 preferred both cats and dogs. We have here three questions. I will guide you on how to write the Venn diagram, but I will not give you the answers to these three questions. Again, I will leave this as an activity. You have to comment your answer on the comment box. So, lagyan natin siya sa isang blank na slide. Ang sabi, Eight preferred cats. Lagay ko na lang dito, eight ang may gusto ng cats. Uh, balik natin siya, ten ang may gusto ng dogs. Tapos five yung may gusto ng both. Okay. So, lagay tayo dito ng isang rectangle for the universal set. Tapos gawa tayo ng dalawang circle. So, ito yung para kay cat, ito yung para kay dog. But, before we write down the values 8 and 10 for cat and dog, let us consider that we only have 20 college students. Eh, bakit pag pinag-add-add mo to? 8 plus 10 plus 5, 23 na sila. O, di ba? So, may lalagay yun. Kung dito ilalagay mo si 8, lalagay mo dito si 10, tapos ilalagay mo sa point of intersection nila si 5, you will end up with a value na 23. Nag-exceed ka na dun sa universal set natin. So, actually, magiging redundant kasi kapag ka ipinlock mo dito si 8, si 5, at saka si 10. Because for 5, eh, this is all, all, already the intersection. 5 and for the number 8 here, who chose cat, kasali na dun yung lima na pumili ng both. So, instead of writing here 8, you have to subtract the value inside the intersection from the set of all respondents who chose cats. So, 8 minus 5, you are going to have the value 3. So, overall, for this circle, for cats, lahat ng pumili ng cats, walo sila. Yun nga lang, may lima sa kanila na pumili rin ng dog at the same time. Okay? For the other set, ganun din. Uh, meron kang sampung dogs. But five of them already chose both. So instead of writing 10, all you have to do is to subtract those values in the intersection, uh, those respondents na nasa intersection from the set of all respondents na pumili ng dogs. So, overall, meron lang tayo, ilan? 13 lang. 13 lang yung mga respondents natin na pumili ng cats, ng dogs, at saka ng pareho. So, nasaan yung nawawalang 7? E, 20 yung respondents natin. Nandito lang sila. Ayan. Hindi, hindi nila gusto ang cat, hindi nila gusto ang dog. Baka gusto nila ng turtle, gusto nila ng pig, gusto nila ng lion. Baka yun yung mga gusto nila. Pero ayaw talaga nila ng cat at saka ng dog. So, now, I've already given you the representation in Venn Euler diagram of our problem. It is up to you to answer these three questions. Sabi ko nga, I will look at the comment box. So, please write down your answer on the comment box. And that will be the end of our lecture for today. Uh, nagkakaroon ako ng problema sa pag-upload so I don't know if I will be able to upload this on time malaman na lang natin so thank you very much for sticking with me all through this 25 minutes of my lesson thank you and have a good day bye